This short presentation want to be an overview of evidence-based electrotherapy in pain treatment. By special devices, different forms of electric current are generated with specific frequency, electromagnetic energy, mechanical vibration. The electrotherapy produces different physiological effects and therapeutical results. One is the treatment of pain, chronic or acute. Watson say that if electrotherapy is used wise, can have multiple clinical benefits and physiological effects. Today, a range of treatment use electricity to reduce pain, improve circulation, repair tissue, strengthen muscle, promote bone growth, leading to the improvement of physical functioning. The electric current is used in clinical practice by the same principle as 50 or 6 years ago. It represents a flow in one or both direction of charged particle in a conductive medium. The flow of electron and ions happens between the anode or plus and cathode minus. As we know, the human body is a good conductor of electricity with very little resistance to this particle flow. The electrophysical agent or uh, electrotherapy modalities are used by physical or occupational therapist, trainer or non-medical personnel in the fitness and wellness field. Some of these users may not have minimal formal training in the use of EPA and this may compromise treatment outcome with a risk of complication. Also, some electrotherapy devices are used at home and the education of the user is the responsibility of the person that recommends the device. Electrophysical agents act direct or indirect. Direct or local on the elements that cause pain. Also, indirect at the distance or at the central nervous system level. Electricity transfer to the electrode can block the gate and stop the sensation of pain. The gate theory explains that the pain signal travels through the spinal cord and travels through the nerve gate channel and uh, there are some EPA that can block this transmission. Also, some biophysical mechanisms of EPA remain poorly understood. In 2014, Tim Watson made the classification of EPA and therapeutic modalities used in rehabilitation. As we see, there are um, three types of uh, electrotherapy dif different spatial electric current, electrical stimulation modalities, thermal agent, and non-thermal agent. Some type of uh, this therapeutic modality are used only in specialized clinic by trained physical therapists with low risk for the patient. The recommendation for the use of EPA are based on many facts. For example, are based on the diagnosis, the type of pain, acute or chronic, also the symptoms and the sign, clinical sign that patient present. The recommendation should be a short decision in cooperation with the patient. It is influenced by cost effectiveness. It's uh, easy today because there are portable devices or technology available on the market and uh, these devices allow the patient to use electrotherapy 
at home and uh, the cost is lower. Also, studies underline that the recommendation focus on those technology that the therapists have experience with via clinical testing and uh, the daily use. From our practice, we underline that the contraindication in the use of EPA are absolute and must be known in detail by the user, the clinician, the physical therapist and the patient. Also, EPA should not be used with the, without the diagnosis, without the precision identification of the cause or type of pain or clinical symptoms. We underline some examples of contraindication. The main one is malignancy, also epiphyseal region in children, pacemaker of metal implants, hemorrhage risk, pregnancy, deep vein thrombosis, infection or febrile condition, skin infection, large open wound on application site, advanced cardiac disease, uncontrolled hypertension, epilepsy or, or uh, physiatric condition. Using EPA, we can have benefits like decrease the uh, use of pain drugs, it's, EPA is not invasive, can reduce nerve pain, can increase blood or lymphatic circulation for a faster healing, promote healing of injuries, relax or decrease muscle spasms, prevent muscle atrophy due to disuse or lack of innervation, maintain or increase range of motion. Basic indication in the use of EPA are post-traumatic condition, edema, avarticular rheumatism, osteoarthritis, sport-related disorder, prevention of atrophy, neuralgia, fibromyalgia, fracture healing. As you know, chronic pain increases function, impairment and possible disability. Chronic pain can persist in spite of removal of the stimulus and even after healing. Electrophysical agent can uh, act uh, by blocking the transmission of nervous impulse to the nervous fiber, it can activate the descending sensory pathway and the results in this release of endogenous opioid can produce vasodilatation and also can decrease the inflammation. One form of EPA is TENS or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. It is used mainly for the chronic pain condition treatment, for example, musculoskeletal pain, chronic low back pain, neuropathic pain, visceral pain. In practice, the treatment time range from 10, 20, 30 minutes to uh, two to six hour a day treatment for a long duration analgesia. Is typically used for the pure purpose of modulating nociceptive pain transmission. It seems that TENS is blocking or uh, modulate nociceptive transmission at the level of spinothalamic tract via stimulation of inhibitory neurons. Also, TENS have an effect on endorphin stimulation. This is very popular because uh, there are many portable devices and uh, patient can use TENS at home for many hours. TENS has mechanisms to produce hypoalgesia or analgesia through peripheral means. It can decrease inflammation, induce dorsal horn neuron sensitization, 
can alter level of uh, inhibitory neurotransmitters such as gamma aminobutyric acid and glycine. Also, TENS can modulate the activity of cells that support and surround neuron in the spine, spinal cord. Another type of HEPA used because it is comfortable and well tolerated is the interferential current. It can be uh, used to treat spinal canal stenosis, ligament injuries, pain from herniated disc or spondylarthrosis, osteoarthritis, frozen shoulder, fibromyalgia. It has also an effect of reduction of post-traumatic edema. Interferential currents is used with two or four electrodes. The four electrodes should be placed in a diagonal pattern. This is uh, why it's not recommended to treat a small area, a hand, a wrist or an ankle. When we use interferential current, the patient should um, communicate with the physical therapist to determine the intensity of the current. Also, uh, after uh, a few sessions or during a session, we, uh, the patient can present the uh, accommodation or tolerance to the current and the therapist can increase a little bit the intensity of the current. There are different studies that support the use of electrical stimulation tens versus interferential current for the pain treatment. For example, tense and interferential current present immediate analgesic effect in chronic low back pain. Evidence suggests that uh, overall tense and interferential current have similar effect on pain and improvements in uh, functional outcome measure. There are no differences between tense and interferential current for the treatment of chronic pain. Another type of HEPA is the functional electrical stimulation or FES that is used to replace or retrain function in nerve damage condition. FES uh, are commonly designed for the limbs to support activities of daily living or uh, to support the gait. The stimulation is applied using uh, surface stimulation electrodes without no pain during the application. An application or a session can last between 45-60 minutes. Functional electrical stimulation help fine motor function uh, for example, uh, two finger precision grips. And in this way, we can maintain muscle function and avoid other complications that can cause pain. For the patient with a central nervous system injury, for example, stroke. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation use electrical impulses to replace nerve stimulus for muscle that even paralyzed realize a contraction. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation is used to restore or replace motor function in, in uh, individuals who have upper motor neuron lesion 
or uh, dysfunction from causes like uh, stroke or spinal cord injury. It is used to increase strength and to increase the range of motion to compensate the effect of disuse and delay pain apparition. It enables neuromuscular education or motor relearning. Stimulation unit or devices uh, are connected to multiple electrodes which are positioned near target muscle or nerves. So they are available external or implanted neuromuscular electrical stimulation devices. Another type of uh, electrical stimulation, an EPA, is harsh wave therapy that uh, also targets chronic pain and soft tissue injury, like tendinopathy, arthropathy, myofascial pain. It is considered to have no adverse effect, but the treatment effects build over time with uh, long-lasting results. A session of high wave therapy lasts from 10, 30 to 60 minutes. And uh, because it's a portable device, it can allow patients to focus on their active, re active rehabilitation. It has a low risk of exacerbating an injury within the treatment area. Also, it presents a low risk of having, of an, having an inflammatory response or an overworking muscular pain. It is popular because of simplicity. It is uh, considered a key method used in sport medicine today. Hashway therapy activates muscle through non fatigue muscle contraction. The positive effects are obtained by an enhanced lymphatic flow, allowing improved cellular waste clearance on increased tissue oxygenation. It seems that uh, the electric pulse impulse stimulate sensory fiber to produce action potential, which travel along afferent fibers to the spinal cord until they reach uh, the synapse of alpha ne motor neuron, uh, that is uh, the afferent part of the hash reflex. Another form of electrotherapy treatment is the galvanic current. This uh, type of uh, direct constant current produces mainly a circulatory stimulation, improving venous and lymphatic drainage after traumatic edema by contraction or relaxation of muscle. It can be applied with two or four electrodes or in a galvanic bath for the upper, lower, and for all four limbs in the same time. It is applied for uh, around 20 to 30 minutes. The intensity of the current is set based on the patient's sensation and tolerance. The patient should feel a nice tingling. The therapist should be a aware of a high risk of skin burning at the site of application, especially for the patient with neuropathy. The electric current can be transformed in ultrasound, like a form of mechanical energy. Ultrasound is used in different frequency depending on the depth of target tissue to be treated. There are two forms, pulse or continuous. It creates a vibration. Also, it has a deep heat effect for relief of pain 
from ligaments, sprains, muscles, pass, contractors or tears. Ultrasound can reduce inflammation at cellular level, promote tissue healing, improve quality of repair, decrease adhesion between tissue in the healing process. Ultrasound increases tissue pain tessel. It is used for acute or chronic condition like uh, adhesive capsulitis, calcified bursitis, muscle inflammation, or shortened tendons. Especially for the tissue that contain a large amount of collagen that allow a better absorption. It is contraindicated to be used directly on superficial nerve tissue. Another type of EPA are the diadynamic currents with low frequency with long pulse duration from 6 to 10 milliseconds. Diadynamic has a long lasting analgesic effect obtained under the negative electrode that is recommended to be placed on pain uh, area. It can produce skin irritation or allergy. This is uh, uh, adverse reaction that can disappear after a day or two. So if we have an irritation or allergy, we can delay the next application. There are five different diadynamic currents. Like we see, the main recommendation is pain, pain with muscle spasm or without, traumatic pain, neuralgia, myalgesia, and the last one, the syncopal rhythm, it's uh, used also for the stimulation, muscular stimulation and pain, pain treatment. The electric current can be transformed on radial or focus extracorporeal shockwave therapy. This is recommended to treat chronic condition like calcified, mineralized and fibrotic tissue from long-lasting or repetitive trauma. The shock wave is applied on the insertion of ligaments or tendons to the bones or on fibrotic tissue and scarring. It is important to underline that the treatment can lead to a discomfort or pain after the treatment. The application. It's important that the therapist present this fact to the patient and explain the pain can feel worse, but it is a part of the healing process and it will diminish or disappear after a day or two. The electrical current can be transformed in artificial infrared radiation that uh, will produce skin vasodilatation, increased sweating due to increased activity of sweat glands, the electrical, the electrical current can be transformed in uh, infrared radiation. This artificial radiation can produce skin vasodilatation, can increase sweating, sensation of warmth because it stimulates the thermal heat receptor and increase the metabolic rate with uh, the demand for oxygen in the tissues. It produces a nerve stimulation. 
the main effect of uh, infrared radiation are pain relief, reduction of muscle spasm or joint stiffness, decreased edema or uh, the skin lesion like in psoriasis arthritis, it, is, it can be used to treat pressure ulcers. Infrared radiation present danger, dangers like burning, gangrene, headache, faintness after the application. Another form of EPA is laser therapy. We talked today about low level laser therapy or cold laser or high power laser therapy that create a heating sensation in the tissue during the treatment. In therapy, laser has a photochemical effect that can be compared to the process of photosynthesis in plants. Studies say that laser should only be used as an adjuvant therapy for pain relief in patients with neuropathic pain and neurologic deficit. Lasers can accelerate the body ability to heal itself. It can be used to treat nociceptive and neuropathic pain. It can decrease the local edema and can reduce the inflammation within hours to days. It's important that this inflammation can happen in the joints, lesser reducing the number of inflammatory cells. It has Effect adverse effects similar to placebo. It is important that the therapist and the patient use special goggles during the application to avoid the risk of ocular damage. Capacitive and resistive electric transfer, or shortly TECAR, it's a uh, of an electromagnetic energy with high frequency that is distributed into the desired tissue, superficial or deep. It's a form of uh, diathermy or deep tissue thermotherapy that uh, has effects like hyperthermia, muscle relaxation, pain reduction, stimulate venous drainage, accelerate the natural process of regeneration. This is why it is used in so much in sport trauma and uh, trauma with musculoskeletal disorder. It can target, TECAR can target tissue like muscle, bones, joint, cartilage, ligaments. Fascia. Tecar has uh, similar effects like a relaxing massage. It is important to underline that Tecar can be used during physical therapy session while the subject performs some movements or a passive stretching. There are two different electrodes with two different effects. The capacitive electrode focuses the energy into muscle uh, and tissue with high electrolytic components. The resistive electrode targets mainly the tissue with higher impedance such as tendon, muscular insertion and bone surface.
tissue that uh, has a higher resistance to the current electric current flow. Magnetic therapy is another form of EPA. It is now that magnetic field can pass through a tissue and diminish and without producing harmful effects. Magnetic therapy is applied through non-invasive static magnets that uh, produce a therapeutic magnetic field for musculoskeletal pain relief. It acts on the triad edema contracture pain with effect like repairing and regenerating the cutaneous, muscular and bone tissue. It is indicated mainly in chronic pain syndrome because promote tissue repair by stimulating chondrocyte proliferation and increase the synthesis of proteoglycan, for example, in osteoarthritis, knee osteoarthritis. Magnetic therapy has effect like it can change the electrochemical potential across neuronal membrane. An article review of chronic pain and device intervention from 2022 made by Stark and Collaboratory present the benefits and future direction. The article underlined the fact that the field of chronic pain management continues to evolve to meet patient multiple needs through a variety of treatment modalities. This growth and diversity of equipment and methods must particularly address the complex nature of chronic pain and the numerous way in which it manifests. Alternative to our painkiller are based on persistent innovation in combination with rigorous research and development process linking everyone involved. Each device should benefit from an extensive systematic review to provide a more robust compilation of current information and data in addition to high-power clinical trials and prospective studies to determine the true effectiveness of this intervention and provide both clinician and patient more clarity when considering the option available to them. Each electrophysical agent has its own pros and cons and specific use according to patient diagnosis, clinical sign and symptoms, place of application. Also, different factors are involved in EPA prescription, like availability, preference, knowledge or experience of the therapist. But also, EPA poses different side effects, risk and complication. So, we recommend that uh, at the beginning of each application session, clinical signs and symptoms and the level of pain to be re-evaluated by the therapist in order to avoid all these side effects, risk and complications. Electrotherapy can provide safe, non-addictive pain relief without harmful side effects if it is used with caution and in an informed manner may reduce or eliminate the need for pain medication, can speed recovery and healing, can make physical therapy more productive, and it is easy and convenient to use. In conclusion, electrotherapy can eliminate pain and restore function.